So what's really exciting about quantum is that it has been known for many decades that there exists algorithms, things you can do when you make use of quantum information that you can't do any other way. Right? There's algorithms that you can run that can't run on traditional computers, and they give exponential speed ups to things that matter to do with chemistry and cybersecurity, and there's a whole host of applications around that. But the challenge has been, yeah, how do you build something big enough? And so the history, for those of you who are, are curious, um, there was this interest in seeing whether or not small scale quantum systems could be used for heuristics like optimization and things like that. And there's a real optimism, I would say 10 years ago, that those small scale systems could do something useful because they still would have more computational capacity than a supercomputer. Like it's hard to imagine, but even 50 quantum bits that rivals the computational capacity of a supercomputer. Amazing. Right? Yeah. And 300 quantum bits would take more classical bits than there are atoms in the universe, all working as one computer. Like, it's just mind-boggling, yeah. right? So people were right to be optimistic that applications could be found in this unknown territory. It turns out there weren't really many, right? And so that's why you might have heard, oh, quantum soon, but maybe not soon and soon. That's different today. What's happening today is that we're actually close to figuring out how to do the real big thing, how okay. to do the piece that affects cybersecurity, how to build the systems big enough to really change the game on chemistry and material simulation and like all the stuff that we're worried about. Like all <laughs> right. that. That's coming online in the near term. And so that's why absolutely now is the time to pay attention to quantum. Fantastic. So what does your company do? 